What is up guys? I'm Uriel Soto and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a header and footer and I am using Elementor, the free version of Elementor. So let's get straight into this. Go into your dashboard and you're going to need to use um, the Astro theme or, or any other theme that the header and footer plugin provides. And these are Astra, Generate Press theme, Genesis theme, and Ocean WP theme, Beaver Builder theme, and uh, you'll see what I'm talking about here. So, but for right now, I'm going to have, um, for my themes, I'm going to have Aspen installed. That's what I would suggest you have installed. And if you want to add it, you can uh, search for it, type in Astra, and activate it. And let's go ahead and go to our um, website. Now we're going to notice that it's not full screen. Let's go ahead and fix this real quick. Sorry, full screen, uh, full width, I would say. <laughs> and uh, let's go to layout. Let's go to header. Uh, should actually be, you know what? It should be in here, container. And we're going to do uh, full width stretched, full width stretched, full width stretched, and full width stretched. Let that load. Okay. Save that. Go back to our um, home page. Okay, now that that's full width, let's go into the dashboard and let's download our plugins. So go to add new. The first plugin we're gonna we're gonna use uh, it's called header. I think it's called. Let's see. Um, type in header, footer, Elementor. I'm not a hundred percent sure what it's what it's uh what it's called exactly. Uh, but we'll find it. It's right here. Oh, okay, it is header, footer, and blocks for Elementor. So go ahead and install that plugin. And then you're going to also want to install a plugin called... It's called Nav Menu. It's for Elementor, so let's go ahead and do that. Nav Menu here. Uh, let's install that. And... And I'm also gonna grab another one. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be a sticky, sticky header. Okay, here we go. Sticky header effects for Elementor. So I'm kind of just adding that as a bonus, just to show you guys how to do that as well. So you can have a sticky header. Let's go ahead and uh, go into our plugins, and let's install these plugins. Activate, activate, and activate. Okay. So now the first thing we're gonna do is create our header. So let's go in and go into um, header and footer from appearance to header, footer. And then I kind of already created one there, but I'm going to remove that one and I'm going to add a new one. And I'm going to name this header because it's going to be the header. And I'm going to save it. I'm going to edit with Elementor. And um, let's go ahead and just create our uh, header. So it's uh, create a section. I'm going to do two. So first, let's grab our logo, which let's scroll all the way down and we'll see branding. So we'll do branding. Now we need to, we do need to add a logo for this. So now what this is going to do is by default, it would grab your logo if you um, select logo. But since I don't have a logo right now, um, it's not really going to have anything. So, and uh, you know what, where it's actually going to pull this logo data, it's going to pull it from the theme, um, from your actual theme. Whenever you go into uh, Customize and you choose the logo, it would pull it from there and it would add it in here. But you know what, since I don't have one, I'm just going to use regular text. And I'm going to call this Uriel. My name, basically. Pretty simple. So, and I'm going to make this dark. Probably like a black color, actually. And I'm going to go ahead and make sure this is um, the content position is middle. And let's go ahead and add our menu. Uh, go into here and then scroll all the way down. And then you're going to want to use the default nav menu. And let's, let's actually, you know what? I have not created uh, my menu yet. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to create my menu real quick. So, um, I'll create some quick pages, the most common pages that people do. Um, let's do about. Let's 
Let's add another one. Contact. And another one here. And uh, what should the other one be about? Um, hmm. So we have a uh, homepage, contact, about us. Hmm. You know what? We're just going to put, um, hmm. I honestly don't know. I think we're just going to put a uh, page, page. We're just going to name it page. Honestly, do not know what else to put right now. So I'm just going to add that right there. Um, and then we're going to go into appearance and we're going, going to go into our menu and we're going to create a menu and we'll call this main menu and we're going to select our pages. So we can do home and we probably could add a added shop because usually you have shop in there. Um, let's add this here page. Actually, I'm just going to name this as shop, as shop instead. Just so then it looks a little better. And um, so what you're going to do is you're going to end up going back. So let's make sure we save this. And uh, let's go ahead and go into, let's see, into, I think it's in, oh, right here, we're already on here. Appearance, header and footer. We're going to edit with Elementor. And we're back in here. So now let's select our menu. There we have it. Now, obviously, we don't really want this color. So at least I don't want that color. But I'm going to actually move the um, the menu to the right. And then I'm going to remove that background. So let's just make it transparent. And let's make those buttons transparent as well. And let's make that link. The link color is white. Let's make that black. It's really simple there. Um, and you can kind of customize this however you want. So if you want to have a different color, you can. If you want to have a border around it, you could as well. Um, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to have it pretty plain. And uh, let's see. Let's see how that looks right now. Okay. Now that is pretty basic right there. Um, Maybe I can just change the background color. Let's see. Let's say we wanted to have a different color for this. Say so we wanted to do black instead. We can do just black. I should do kind of like black. So let's make everything white. At least the text white. Oops. Uh, right here. All right. And uh, let's make this into a sticky into a sticky header. Go into advanced. Once you click on this. From layout, go to advance, head down to sticky, sticky header, click effects. And uh, let's not have this show up on the, the mobile menu. Now let's kind of mobile optimize this as well. See how it looks like on tablet. So on tablet, we have this, um, they have this little button here. So let's actually center this. And let's go in here, let's go into mobile toggle. And let's make this, let's just make this transparent. Let's see if we can, hmm, okay. So this is what we got here. Not that bad. Okay, so now let's go to, um, let's see how this looks like on mobile. Uh, let's make this about 50%. Probably I'm making it like 30%. And then make this about um, 70 percent okay that's a little large there so we definitely want to shrink that Let's see if we go to toggle mobile toggle if there's any padding on this which doesn't look like there is um, not, not, not many. I've only used this a few times, honestly, guys. So I'm kind of um, just seeing if we can shrink this here. Hmm. So 
I'm trying to see if we can shrink this at least, but it doesn't look like we can. But I might be wrong from the looks of it. Huh. Okay. Okay, well, from the looks of it, we might have to just leave it like this for now. So let's go ahead and save this. And let's see how this looks like on our website. Let's go to the home page. And as you can tell, it's kind of not working right now, right? Well, the reason is because we haven't assigned it yet. So let's go back to dashboard and let's go to header and um, header and footer. Click edit. Click header. Let's go back and there we have it. When we do have a sticky menu, it's just that I have um, I have my little WordPress dashboard in the way. So that's pretty neat, isn't it? So let's go back. Um, and now let's go ahead and create a footer. So we can go back down to appearance, pattern footer, head new. And let's create a footer. Uh, let's make sure this is a footer. Edit with Elementor. And let's just create a typical footer. So, since by default, I know that WordPress doesn't, that doesn't uh, give you any, any templates. If you have the pro version, they actually do offer a lot of uh, templates for the footer. So, we're just going to have to create one. Uh, so, let's, let's grab probably three rows here. Let's make it black. Let's make a black round black. Uh, let's grab some text here, and we're gonna do, we're gonna do about it's a little smaller about um let's copy this over here do menu over here we can do contact us. Sorry, contact us. Right. But I kind of want to make this text a little smaller, so I'm going to probably make this text a little smaller. Let me paste this guy over here. I'm going to grab some, um, for the about, I'm going to grab some, I'm going to add the text editor. And we're just going to use this uh, default text here. You can add, uh, if you're creating an about page, if you're creating an about section, obviously you have the about, about, um, basically the about part about your website. So, um, let's go ahead and make this text white. Okay. It doesn't look too bad. And let's add a little divider here. Right under it. And then we'll have it go to the right and we'll make it, we'll change the color to white. And then for the spacing, there we go. Let me just add this to each one. Okay. Um, so now let's add the menu. So we're going to go and scroll down and grab the nav menu. And you know what we might do instead, because that might not end up working out. Because I don't think we can do it that way. Let's see. Can. Um, no, I don't think we can actually. Okay, so we're not going to do it that way. We're going to do it a different way. I'm going to grab our list, grab a little icon list here. Let's add it in here and let's grab this here. Okay. Let's remove these and let's remove this chat. And we're just going to add a page. Now you can go ahead and add links for each, each of these, but um, I'm not going to go ahead and do that. Uh, we get about, I think we get shop actually. Shop. And then we get um, shop and then about. Okay, we're going to do 
contact us. Oops. Contact us. Okay. And let's go ahead and stylize this. So go to style, text, let's change the color to white. Okay, that looks pretty good. And then the contact us. Let's add our, let's actually add our contact information. So um, I'd probably use the same thing as well. Just gonna paste it. Oh. I don't know if that really made a difference, but just gonna paste it in there. And this time, let's definitely have some icons. So we can have the envelope for the email. Um, my website at gmail.com or email, I mean, however you're putting an email regardless. And then we're going to be doing the location. So let's see if we can find a building here. Oops, now I'm going to spell that Building, there we go. Can add a building and then we can add a number as well. So add a phone. Let's add an address. Um, I don't know. Honestly, anything really, whatever you want to do. Let's just grab some um some little fake text here. Let's add it in there. Anything really, just adding a fake address. And then let's add a number, so 775533, okay. And there we have it. Now let's go ahead and change the color of that um, of the icon. Go to icon and change the color to white. Okay. All right, let's definitely add a little spacing to this. So, Let's see, from the padding, let's do about from the top. We'll do about two from the bottom one. Okay. You know what, let's not add anything for the bottom. Let's remove that. Because now we need to add um, our uh, copyright area. So let's go ahead and add another section. And I'm gonna make this section not completely black, but close to that just so then it can stand out a little bit all right oops yeah let's add another another um, section in there and then we're gonna go ahead and grab the list again the icon list I use this for a lot of a lot of different things so um, actually you know what we're gonna have this on this side and over here we're going to grab some of the text that we had over here. I'm going to paste it in here. And then we're going to do, it's usually my website, 2018, 2019, sorry. You can, you can obviously do the copyright, um, the old sign, but I don't have it right here. So we're just going to do at um, my website, mywebsite.com. Probably would not be spacing on that either, but okay. And let's definitely um, switch up the text here. Let's make the text a little smaller. Probably makes a little gray here. Text smaller. On um, the weight, let's have it about maybe 300. Let's uh, make this to the middle. Have the positioning in the middle. Okay, it doesn't look too bad. And then over here. We want to change this, the layout, to those inline. So usually what people would do is um, you could add, let's see, uh, for instance, hmm. so I mean you could usually add like a private policy. So let's add the private policy right there. Um, and then right next to that, which you know what, let's remove this little check right next to that. You can put, okay. Cause if you're, if you're, uh, 
if you're a web agency, you can put um, created by or developed by, however you want to put it, created by by um, my website, my website link. Um, so yeah, and then you can kind of link this, and if you know how to add links, um, which actually, sorry about that, I don't even know why I'm even adding it in here. So what you would do actually is put this part in here, and then you would just add a link to it down here. So there we go. All right, and we're gonna want to add actually a a divider between that. And then let's go ahead and go to text. And let's probably make this a little darker actually. Let's grab the same um, the same color as this. Let's paste it over here. But not this part though, you're gonna actually wanna go to the text and do that. Sorry about that guys. And there you have it. Let's go ahead and mobile let's, have, let's go ahead and optimize this actually real quick. So um this works. This works for me. Maybe shift this a little more this way. So let's go ahead and shift this a little more this way for sure. Um Maybe I've left less of this, something like that. That's fine. Let's add some spacing in here. Let's make sure everything's at the same level. Um, let's add some spacing in here too. Okay. There we go. Let's work on doing the mobile version. Or the phone version, however you want to call it. Let's fix this. Let's uh, center this real quick. Got some spacing here. Probably mainly needs at the bottom actually. Oops. Um let's do the bottom. Oops, let's move that. Let's not select all of them. Okay, uh, let's do this for the top a little bit. Let's give this some spacing as well, just a little bit. That's kind of annoying that it's selected. Okay, all right, so that's how it would look like on the phone. Doesn't look too bad. So I'm sure you can style this however you want. Let's go ahead and save this. And let's go to our home page. Okay, so now we have our menu there, up there. And then we have our, um, we don't have our footer, look at that. So, let's go ahead and make sure and see why our footer isn't working. Go to appearance, header and footer. Go into footer. Oh, there we go. We just needed to select this footer. Okay, and in case some of you guys were wondering how do you add a logo here, so let's go ahead and add, let me just show you guys how to do that real quick. So you're going to head over to Customize. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add our logo. So let's go to Layout, should be Header, Site Identity, and let's choose our logo. Let's just choose any of these, so it'll be fine. 
just crop this here real quick. Crop image. Okay, let's go ahead and publish. It's not going to show up just yet because we haven't added it to the header yet. So let's go into um, header. And let's go in here and choose branding. Let's choose logo. Now we have our logo here. But obviously you can't really see the, the text under it because it's, um, it's black as well. But I'm sure if you uh, customize the logo and you made it, you made text white, you should be able to see it. So let's make this logo a little smaller, which I don't think you can actually. So we might have to go to the editor. Let's see if the uh, let's see if, if we're able to do that. Um, see if we can do that and customize. If not, we're gonna have to just add a regular um, image. And we're going to have to, there we go, okay, we can, from the looks of it, but it's not, you know what, it's not even working though. So, it doesn't seem to work, so, we may just have to um, add an image instead, and just do it manually that way, because it's actually not working. No, it's not, so we're going to do it a different way, guys. So, we're just going to add a image there. And we're going to choose a different one this time because I didn't really go that well. This one, but I don't really like this one either. Let me just actually change this to something else. This, this, nope, that will not work. Mm, why don't I have that text? Ah, uh, let's try this. Okay, that actually works. Let's definitely shrink this. There we go. Shrink it to about like, probably to about like that. Okay. And um, let me add something to this. Because I know that we can do a search. Let's see if, if um, we're able to have a little search bar. Um, I usually use the... Oops. Okay, we, we actually can't have a search bar. So let's go ahead and add a little search box in here. search in here now we're definitely gonna want this a logo instead no I don't think we can do this so I think on the pro version is when you can do that do it like that so we're just gonna have to deal with this part right here okay I don't think we have any other alternatives no we don't we just have that okay so what I would do I would probably make the background a little more darker just to kind of fit in. Something like that. And then let's make the text. Um, the text should be white if we can. Uh, which I don't think we can even change the text color. Wow, that is so weird. We're so limited with just using uh, the free version of Elementor. So what we're going to need to do instead is just make that a little bit lighter. There you go. And what you're going to need to do is hide this part probably on, on the mobile and tablet version. So, okay. But that kind of looks ugly, so I'm going to remove it and just have my menu like this. Let's go see our finished project here. Oh, wow. Okay. That wasn't what I wanted. Why is the image so big now? Huh. That is very odd. I definitely shrink this. So this should not be happening right now. Let's see what's happening. Here. Wow. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and remove this. And I'm just going to add my, um, my text again. So we'll just, for now, we'll just use our text. I'm sure you guys can take around with that and probably end up fixing that issue. But uh, there we have our uh, footer and our header. So we're all set here, and I hope this helped you guys out. If it did, uh, feel free to subscribe and uh, like the video. And also, um, 
If you guys have any questions, feel free to comment. All right, thanks for